force them into some tough spots defensively. And for the Panthers, they got to get some stops and they've got to make some shots. It's a really simple formula for them, things they haven't been doing very well in recent games. Walker tried to feed it inside, and again, the Knowles turn it for a second time. And what an athletic block by Scotty Ball. You don't want to play against that seminal set defense any more than you have to, but I don't think you want to get in a track meet with Florida State. And that ends a drought of five missed shots in a row. It's really a remarkable story. Barnes, a power forward in high school, comes into ACC competition as the Knowles point guard. It's been amazing how well he has adjusted. Calhoun. Barnes gets in the paint. Polite kicks it. Open Springer by Calhoun. Here comes Polite, leading a three on two. Lobs it. And the stuff by Balsha. Marco Provica did a nice job. He pressured the three-point shot. Here's the run out you were talking about. Well, Polite on the first play does a nice job penetrating. Somebody's going to have to pick up the offensive slack. Man to man for the Panthers. Evans feeds it right back inside to the big fella, and he puts it in. Go. Koprovica just slides to the basket. The defense isn't there in time to help. Evans out of a double team. He picked up the foul. Last time down the floor. Now gives it. And the jump shot is good by Odakali. Going to try to get the ball in the hands of Champagny in an offensive situation a little bit more. And a drive right through the defense by Evans. 15-10, there's a pickoff by Calhoun. He'll take it up and jam with two hands, and the Knowles have hit their last five shots. Pittsburgh trailing. Johnson, nothing doing. Barnes takes it up and in. His size, his length, and athleticism. There he is, taking a try to take a charge in the lane. Johnson picks up the loose ball. Champagne will follow it in. Barnes with a floater. No lungs and underneath for the jam. Wow. Great job by Sabandi. Moves in. Moves out, long three is good by Ethel Horton. Out of the air by Champagne. I think Sabandi blocked that. Champagne, little give and go, lays it in. What a play! Evans to the wing. Wilkes. Now they work the baseline. Gray inside. The bandy switched against the big, takes the long oh. hit three and gets it. His second three of the game. Evans on the bounce. Wilkes a long three. That's good. Wow, that was a long three. They're doing that with a great degree of regularity. 29-23. Off the glass and the jam follow for Champagne. And that is a big mistake, Indy. He's the one guy out there you got to go get. Inside, nice spin and jam. 31-25 FSU. Champagne goes in and rolls it in softly with the left hand. Where around the basket, he can be so effective. Gray. Nice use of the glass. And it was 260. This year, two feet, and it's all muscle. Odakali, nice. Got clock at 10. And talking about taking it away from the seven footer, nearly a turnover. Here comes Wilkes out of the corner, and he drains another one. Missing 14 and a half points from their lineup with that injury to Tony. In gone. Justin bringing it down. Gives it up. Here's the jumper by Okadali, and it's good. Okadali with his third field goal, and he's got six. And a big bucket for Pitt to cut it to six at halftime. In the lane, Gulabali trying to get a shot off. Now gets rid of it. The drive. And one. And they have been very close to him for the most part every time he's caught the ball. A cross-court pass finds him, and Horton's runner is good. 
Wilkes feeds it inside. Osborne going up strong and scores it. And again, FSU right into the heart of the paint. Johnson gets in, gets it up and in. Oprah oh, beats a Nailing it at one end, and the lay is good at the other. Panthers drop back into their zone. Barnes fires it up front. Nicely off the glass by Gray. Polite, kind of running out of runway there on the baseline. Turns it over. Pitt running. Johnson with the left hand scored. Polite. Rebound, Gray. He had himself matched up against Xavier Johnson in that rebound situation, and that's the definition of a mismatch. Champagne, right to the front of the rim. Barnes says, I'll take it. And follows his own miss. The jumper by Horton doesn't go, but the loose ball picked up, and the stick back by Koulibaly. Evans, now in the middle to Barnes. Scotty with a little baby hook, second shot, good. Many have done both, but to do it with double-figure rebounds is quite impressive. Nice duck in. Got the basket. Gray. Again, gets his own missed. He was held and put it in anyway. Wow. Yeah, but you think you're open, and then these long guys come flying at you. <laughs> Little push shot. Panthers are running out of time here to make some shots. Johnson gives it up. Odakali throws it all alone underneath is Horton. A double team on the ball. Now Barnes pops free on the wing. Wilkes, polite, and a huge three for Florida State. Keep in mind that Wilkes is shooting over 50% from three-point range in his last couple of games, but he passed up that shot. Johnson equalizes it with a three of his own. That's exactly the point you were talking about, Bob. You can't trade baskets at this point if you're the Panthers. Barnes moves in, a little wraparound pass, and the dunk. For Copravita. The great baseball Hall of Fame manager Earl Weaver would say, as the lay in is good, Florida State has deep depth. Florida State using much of the shot clock here. We're down to 230 to play. Here's Barnes all the way to the hole to jam it. Inside, nice scoop to the hoop. Better tip in though by Champagne. And the rebound to Johnson. Pulls a three ball. And gets it. Now he was on the line, Bob, and the officials are going to stop it right now. A day they had 12 dunks. That, that one by Barnes, though, was pretty special. Nice drive. Timeout pit. They've done a great job at the line, hitting 23 of 29. Champagne missing. Rebound Florida State. And that is going to do it. The final horn.